Welcome to Austin Community College's Unix Operating System 1 course. I'm Dr. Ron Bass. I will be your instructor for this course. I'm going to give you a brief orientation to how the course will work. The first thing we have to do is to log into Blackboard. Enter your ACC EID and your password, and then sign in. You will be presented with a list of courses which you're enrolled in uh, for this semester. Select the Unix operating system course. In this case, I'm selecting the template which I use to create the course website. If you look at the left hand side of the screen, you will see the menu and each of these items can be clicked to produce a subscreen on the right hand side. We use the word Unix for the name of the course, but in fact, we are teaching Linux. If you look down through the announcements, you will see uh, the examination schedule and a list of uh, sites and resources available to you for accessing Linux. The syllabus is posted on the ACC's syllabus website and you can go to it by clicking on the syllabus link and you can read the course uh, requirements including the grading scale, the objectives, the textbook, and other course requirements. The textbook is new for this semester for this course. It's Linux Plus and LPIC1 Guide to Linux Certification. In fact, this is a networking course. Uh, <clears throat> And so we're looking at the basic use of the Linux operating system for purposes of using it as a server for various kinds of web applications. Other links on the left hand side include the course orientation. If you look at the course orientation, it, it, it fills you in as to the requirements for the course. And at the very bottom, after you've completed the orientation, you can take the orientation quiz. The schedule for the course is the next link, and you can see that the course is essentially broken into three pieces, uh, one for Module 1, Module 2, and Module 3. And all of the assignments uh, are given in a, a due date. I will be your instructor, and you can see my office hours are 5 to 8 a.m. Monday through Friday. Yes, that is a.m. The course is broken into three competency modules. Competency Module 1, Linux Concepts, Applications, Usage, and File Systems. Competency Module 2, Linux File System, File Permissions, and Using the VI Editor. And finally, the Compacy Module 3, the Bash Shell, Shell Scripting, and Linux Processes. Each module is subdivided into three uh, components. For this module, you will read chapters 1, 2, and 3. You will watch the, uh, the orientation or the orientation vi video, and you will watch the uh, videos for how to use basic Unix uh, or Linux commands. If you look at the study assignments, 
you can see that there are three sets of study assignments for module one mod whoops pardon me for module one there are three uh, study assignments and if you look at the study assignment you can see that there is a page which will allow you to submit the assignment. When the assignment is complete, I will uh, give you a link to the feedback for the assignment, which gives you the answers that are, I, I decided are correct by taking them from the textbook and other resources. And so you can see there are three pieces to this module. There are also three pieces to competency module two. In this case, we'll look at the lab assignments as opposed to the study assignments. And you can see that there are three of these. For competency module three, it's organized in much the same way. And in this case, I'll look at the reviews and you can see that there are three of your reviews for Companies Module 3. So the pattern for the course is that there are three study assignments, three lab assignments, three uh, quizzes, which represent the review for the exam. And finally, if you look at the very bottom of each module, if you look at the very bottom of each module, you will see that there is a link for the exam. You can also access the exams from the menu on the left hand side of the screen. The My Grades link shows you your current state of assignments and the, the score that was assigned to each one of them. Messages are messages that come from me or from other students, but mainly from me. And you should check these regularly, although I, I don't send out a lot of messages. At the beginning of the semester, you will get your login information uh, from this location. I have listed a number of resources that are available <clears throat> on the web and other places for uh, the study of Linux, including how you can install uh, a, a Linux bash shell on your Windows 10 computer if you're using Windows 10. The discussion board is for you to post information or questions about the course for other people to react to. I will check these from time to time, but I don't use them on a regular basis. The schedule for the course is particularly important and we looked at it before, but each exam has a specific due date. All the study assignments and the lab assignments and the quizzes should be completed prior to taking the exam. Once you take the exam, then you, the study assignments, lab assignments, and quizzes cannot be taken for credit. If you take an exam late, there is a 20% uh, penalty for the late exam. There is a late examination period for, for Competency Module 1 and Competency Module 2. But Competency Module 3 is the end of the semester and there is no late examination period. After that time, they will not be available and you will not be able to take the exam. I'm looking forward to having you in class this semester and I hope things go well for you. The best advice I can give to you is to begin work immediately, set yourself a personal schedule, and begin working on the course as soon as possible. Good luck.